Advanced Residential Applications and Case Studies. Chapter 8, Cost and Income Approaches. Page 19, Site Value. Of course, the last item that you need in order to complete the cost approach is site value. This will be estimated according to the standard procedures for site valuation. We will still try to base it on comparable sales if we can. However, if a property is complex, one of the reasons it may be so is that it has an unusual amount or type of land or site. We may have to go far afield to find comparable land sales, if any even exist. Consequently, we may have to fall back on one of the five other recognized methods of land or site valuation. Extraction, which means subtracts estimated improvement value to arrive at land value. Allocation, which means uses land to value ratios based on improved sale comparables. Subdivision development, which means subtracts estimated development costs from discounted sale proceeds. Land residual, which means divides up and capitalizes the income between land and improvements. Ground rent capitalization, which means capitalizes income from leased land. Let's quickly review these as you may not use them in typical residential appraisals. However, they can have application in complex properties. Remember that no matter which method you use, you need to provide sufficient documentation as to how you arrived at that estimate of site or land value. Even if you document your appraisal on the URAR, the 2005 version of the form now says in the cost approach sections of page three that you must provide support for the opinion of site value summary of comparables, land sales, or other methods for estimating site value. End of page. Page 20, Extraction Method. Improved sales in rural areas are frequently valued this way because the building improvements may have a minimum contributory value in comparison to the underlying land value. You might have an agricultural property with several hundred acres and an old farmhouse. The building improvements could contribute little, if anything, to the overall value of the property. The extraction method also has good application in many older urban areas. 
you may be appraising in an older city that has been essentially built up for 50 years or more. There has not been a vacant land sale in the subject's neighborhood in the last 10 years, primarily because there's no vacant land left. Let's take a look at the methodology of this extraction method. The theory behind the cost approach is that value is the sum total of two components, land and improvements. If we can ascertain reliably the value of one of the components, then it is simply a matter of subtraction to find the value of the other component. For example, if an improved property sold for $200,000, that represents the current value of both the land and the improvements. If we know that the land is worth $50,000, thousand dollars then the improvements in their present depreciated state must be worth the balance or a hundred and fifty thousand dollars conversely if we can calculate that the present value of the building improvements were only a hundred and twenty five thousand dollars then the land value by default would have to be $75,000. End of page. Page 21, case study number 12, extraction. A run-down neighborhood grocery store on a good corner location in a fully built up neighborhood recently sold for $400,000. The reproduction cost of the improvements today would be $250,000. The total depreciation is estimated to be 80%. By extraction, what is the land value? Let's see. The reproduction cost of the improvements would be two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That neighborhood grocery store recently sold for four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand. Okay, reproduction is $250,000 and the depreciation is estimated to be 80% by extraction. What is the land value? Okay, hold on. Let me think. You can do this. I'm thinking about minusing the reproduction cost of the improvements. Let me try this. Minus the $250,000 equals only $150,000 left. And then, um, the depreciation is estimated at 80%. Depreciation, depreciation. Uh, I times the 80% by the 150 or whatever that was left. This is the number it kicked me out. I'm thinking the site value by extraction is $120,000. Let's try that. I could be wrong on this, but that's why we're here to learn. Site 
Smith. Hijo su puta madre. Mira. Case study number 12, extraction solution. Remember, the total value of both components, the land and the building improvements, are supposed to represent the total value of the entire property. If the improvements would cost $250,000, To reproduce today and they are 80% wasted what is the present depreciated value of the improvements here's the formula you take the $250,000 okay that's the reproduction cost multiply it by 0 0.80 equals $200,000 That amount is lost and gone forever. $250,000 reproduction costs new minus the $200,000 of the depreciation equals $50,000. Therefore, the present value of the improvements is only $50,000. Some of you more clever students were able to save a step in the math calculation. You realized that if the old clunker of a building lost 80% of its value, there is 20% left. Therefore, you could just multiply the $250,000 which was the cost new, by 0.20 and arrive directly at the figure of $50,000. So if the property sold for $400,000 and the improvements contribute $50,000 to the property value, then if we subtract $50,000 from $400,000, we can extract a site value of $350,000. $400,000 minus $50,000 equals $350,000. End of page. Page 22, allocation method. The allocation method has a lot of similarities to the extraction method that we just studied. We start with the premise that value is composed of two components. However, in the extraction method, we isolated one component, valued that first, and then found the second component by subtraction subtraction the basic assumption in the allocation method is that there is a normal or typical ratio between the land value and total value so we quantify the value of the land as a percentage of the total value As with extraction, the allocation method can be used when sales of vacant land are inadequate or non-existent, such as in built-up urban areas or remote rural areas. It would occupy a similar stage in the hierarchy. First, you would look to complete a sales comparison method. If that fails, this would be one of the alternate methods to consider. End of page.